Okay, we pick it up here. We have made a new project and we have actually made a surface and we have made two alignments which intersect through the magic of thought or finding all the tools. We also have determined that the station equation of that intersection is station 36 plus 400 equals station 96 plus 400 on the other alignment. You know that one alignment goes from 0 to 60 something. I'm sorry, 10 to 60 something. The other one begins at 70. So those are going to become important numbers that you want to write down. You probably would want it when you figure this out, you actually would like to go all the way through and figure out also what your um, what each of your PIs are whether they're northings, they're eastings, and all that stuff is stored in there. But now we want to go in 10 minutes. We want to go and make a couple of surface profiles and then a couple of profile views. Pretty straightforward to do. Once you have a surface defined, right, you can go through and go to the point of profiles, create a surface profile, we want to pick the correct one. We probably should have renamed this, but we'll, live. we'll go west to east road is the one we're going to grab. We want to grab no uh, sample offsets for now. We're just going to add it. We've got the selected surface of right there. That's selected. That's correct. We're going to add. They ended up calling that surface one. We hit OK. We have made one. All right. To make ourselves feel good. We could go through this next process each time. We could go right away, go to the profile view, create a profile view. Now we, of course, will only have one choice, I think. Well, which one did we just do? It's kind of hard to say, isn't it? Up, oh, keep in track. Let's go back here and see what kind of profiles we have. Surface profiles. Well, let's look. If we go over here to alignment, this to prospector we should have two alignments one is there and one is there one has a set of profiles and the other one does not let's see so we've made a surface profile for the west road so that's the one that we're going to do the west the east road keeping track as you're doing these and what you're which ones you're doing and then kind of figuring out it will help we're going to do the west to the east road so we've made a profile surface profile we're going to make a profile view right we're going to create a profile view for the west to the east road center line we're going to call it profile view west east underscore road we'll go with the underscore center line for now we'll try to keep these things together we want to pick a style. We would like to go with the station range that's thoughtful. We click on there just so we think that we're doing something. We're actually thoughtful. We're going to get a 10 plus 0, so we're going to write that down. Profile height, we want to think about this. Maybe we'll begin this one at 1,000. Tab over here. However high you're going to make it, all kinds of different options. You see, this is they're calling the surface one, it's using X topo. Remember, we're going, this is the key number, it's the 1,000. We're going to finish out and hit create a profile view. In all reality, we can know we're going to begin this at 1,000 and then 10,000 for elevation. So we're going to create a profile view, 1,000, comma, 1,000 times 10. And it went there. Believe it or not, you have to start to trust when you're doing these things. You can go back and check. That skips a step. I'll show you now how many of you are going to want to do it. Uh, and that's reasonable to just place the profile on the plane and then move it when you're done. So let's do that for the next one. We're going to go ahead for, we have one line, uh, surface profile done for the west-east. We're now going to make a new surface profile. This time we're going to make it for south north road from 70 on we're going to add that we're again we're at 70 now we're going to hit okay okay we'll hit it across here so we've created the profile view 
Now we go out and we, I'm sorry, we created the profile, surface profile. We're going to create a profile view. We're going to remember this is going to the south to north road center line. We're going to call this SN underscore center line. We'll check the DOT naming. We got a couple calls out for that. The standard naming the DOT is going to be here. Station range in this case, I men were thinking thoughtful 70 plus 00, zero. view. Remember the start of the last one at a thousand. We'll go ahead and start this one at 90, 990 just for demonstration purposes. So we know that we're being with the station of 70 plus 00, zero and then 990. We can go ahead and create a profile view. We're going to just place this one now. Though realistically, it's a lot easier just to be thoughtful about it and just put it in the right place to start. So we'll go ahead and click on that there. It makes the profile view. Now, before you go much farther, you want to make views. So let's make sure we do that. V for view. A new view. One view we always want is going to be overall view. Gets us back to that kind of 2,200,000. Clicky clicks off to find a window from here to here, enter to start, hit OK, apply, OK. Now that's kind of, let's see if that view came in, you want to check your V by going there, set current, OK, jumps down to where I want to be. Now this one, remember, it came in, you see how the text is different sizes, you can always change that by changing the scale here. Make it look different. That's the beautiful thing about Civil 3D. It also be a thing that will sometimes get in our way because of the annotative text. But we want to now finally practice to move this to the correct spot. And then we will make two more views way down where these things are supposed to reside. They reside at where station elevation times 10. We are training your eye for the field. Um, you can deal with this on the design plane by multiplying by 10 whenever you're dealing with grade, but it's going to be very helpful to have everything on the right coordinate basis. That will be the last time I beat that horse. It will not be acceptable, nor should it be, to arbitrarily put things off in some willy-nilly coordinate basis. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to learn to use our grip snaps. Left click. Left click. Space bar. We're going to move, and now we know we want to move it to, notice all your snaps are off. We want to move it to station 7000,9900, and it went there, we hope. Zoom, center, center point, 1,000, 1,000, 100,000, more or less, 100. Should get us about in the right spot. Well, did, were we in the right spot? Sure. Let's see if that indeed is in the right spot. ID intersection of that one. Up, oh, it's not. Somehow things got moved. Sometimes it's settings. We need to move that one a little bit more to the left. Left click. Left click. Space bar, space bar. Space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. We're going to move that to 1,000, 10,000. Now, does that make sense? You check one, you check another. ID, intersection of that. That looks right. You also would check some other places on this alignment. You're going to go here and check this one. You're going to do ID, the intersection of that. That one looks correct, so now all that's left to do is to make two views. There'll be more views to come, so get used to making views. V for view. New view. Clicky clicks off. I'll just call this for now. Profile 1. We'll fill them in later. Define a window. Either this or this works the same. Arbitrarily click from here to there, enter to accept, OK, apply, do it one more time, new, profile 2,
We'll have them better names. You get the drills. Thanks for listening. That's my 10 minutes how to get surface profiles and profile views in 10 minutes. See you. Bye.